Well, you guys, I, I, I'm out here. I just got to my fishing spot. It was a little muddy, as you can see, because um, it's early season in the snow melt and all, but I haven't been able to get to a lot of my fishing spots, so I'm just super grateful to be able to get here. And I park my truck, and no joke, this is 30 yards away. Let me show you. I'm so happy. I need to play the lottery right now because yesterday, I went to check my trail cameras and like 50 feet from my trail camera was a really nice brown deer shed. And look what is like 30 yards from my truck. Okay, so this is literally just a quick, quick walk. I saw it from parking my truck. <laughs> is that incredible? Let's, let's go check it out, shall we? <laughs> Oh, I'm so happy. Good potential down the line. Look, he's already grown a little devil's tine. And it's brown, which is so cool. So, so cool. Ugh. I'm so happy. Let's see if the other side's around. So freaking cool, just in this little bottom. The bulls have really good genetics here, and like that's just a little guy, but trust me, like it's gonna be a good bull someday. I can just tell by his frame. And compared to some other ones that I found that like, he's just a little baby and he just has potential like they all do here so it's so dang cool. All right let's pick it up shall we? We'll take it. All right folks time to hike. If this is your first time watching one of my fishing videos. I'm very careful about showing the places I go because they're very sacred to me and this one in particular is also very sacred to me and uh so video of backgrounds and the actual fishing experiences might be to a minimum it's still going to be a super fun video where i will still show you my catches and it's going to be a good time so don't stop watching just respect that these places mean a lot to me and uh, i don't just give away places for free because i want people to work as hard as i did to find a lot of my places and this one included so let's go well you guys i just caught the most beautiful brook trout specimen and as I got him in the water and was going to get my phone ready to take a video for you guys, he swam away. But it's okay. I really care about the safety of these fish. I'll put a picture here so you can see the one I catch, and we'll catch some more. Just caught this beauty. I can let him go. He has good length to him. Whoa! This beauty. So beautiful. Let's let him go, shall we? Bye! Oh! What's up, guys? Just made it back to the good old trailer. Let's see what Brookie's doing, shall we? I want to tell you a little bit about my fishing experience and uh, what I like to use for Brookie's and why. And what I caught all those Brookie's on. <gasps> Brookie! At the door for mommy! <laughs> You look like you haven't seen the sun all day, girlfriend. You been napping? How was your day? I didn't take Brookie to this fishing spot today because there are bears. Lots of bears. Guys, yeah, just one thing to tell you before I tell you about the Brookies. You might have seen me using this up there. Putting it on at least and having it by my pack. This is my new fishing tool. It's called Simplify. It's a really, really awesome case that acts kind of like, like when I wear it, it feels like a bino case, but um, it kind of acts like a lanyard, but only better than a lanyard. I'm gonna give you guys a full review soon. So I'm not gonna tell you too much about it now. I just wanted to introduce it to you and stay tuned for a review where I show you how everything how works. How are the flamingos doing today? Looking good, ladies. I'm a little tired, but it's like late in the afternoon and I'm still gonna get out and fish some more. So just taking a quick little rest in the trailer with homegirl. But I just wanted to tell you guys a little bit about what I use to catch brookies and why. So just to fill you in for my mentality for brookies, brookies are, well, they're one of my favorite fish to catch, if not my very favorite, which is why, come here. Oh, which is why I named my cat after them. But brookies are aggressive. They're actually not trout. They're technically char. And along in the char family are bull trout, arctic char, brook trout, even though they're char, 
And the reason I bring that up is to say that these are diehard meat eaters. Like these are aggressive, mean, predatory fish, like the sharks of the freshwater. And that's probably another reason why I love them so much. They have big teeth. They act just like a predator on land would. So what I mean by that is, you know, say you have a wolf or a mountain lion or a bear stalking its prey. It's not how often do you see bears or mountain lions or wolves just in the wide open for everybody to see it and know it's there. Hardly never. And the reason is because good predators hide in places where they can't easily be seen in thick areas behind rocks, behind trees, in dens. And brookies are actually the same way. So brook trout will often hide under logs in thick grassy spots. Um under big rocks in really tight areas and they're hiding under there and they're looking out for prey to attack. So that's one of the things I love about brookies so much because if you drop like a big woolly bugger or a midge or really any pattern depending where you are right alongside a log, you have potential to see a big mound brook trout come out and attack your fly which is so cool. And the fish I caught today, I caught Let's see. So I didn't show you guys all of them. One I caught was pretty small and I caught him, believe it or not, on a woolly bugger, black woolly bugger. Caught the smallest fish on the biggest fly. <laughs> and then I caught one, two, three. I caught three others. I know two I took a picture of. I think the other two I may have had a video. But anyway, all the other ones I caught on midge patterns. And that's because I saw midges in the water and I went along with it and you really can never go wrong with midge patterns. I've told you guys this before because they're on the water almost all the time. I was fishing a lake and sure enough the midges worked and they've worked here before so it was really fun. Little tiny flies. I love catching big fish on tiny flies. The first one I got which I didn't get a video of but I'm always very concerned about the fish's safety. I'd rather the fish if you're gonna catch and release a fish, you wanna release it in good health, you know? So I'd rather release it as soon as possible. And when I was trying to get my video up on my phone as I was holding him in the water, he just swam away, so it's whatever. But I did get a picture with him real quick, so that was cool. But he was probably the biggest and the chunkiest of the day, so he was very, So very just cool. a couple of last takeaways about brook trout fishing. Um, just keep in mind that they're a predator. When you are using things, either use what's on the water, something they're already eating, a bug that you can see out, or trigger their predatory instincts. Use something big, aggressive, move water, cast and cast and cast and get your fly in all those really tough to reach places. And it can be hard with snags and stuff for brookies because they're, they're in these random places. But give it a try and I promise eventually you will trigger a brookie's mean predatory sense that will just hammer your fly and put up such a good fun little fight. Right brookie? So one last thing before I go guys, this shirt I was wearing today, it's cool, it has little thumb holes. I really like the way it's built. It is Apparel by Home Run. Is there a logo on the front? Yeah, there it is. Apparel by Home Run. They're an amazing fishing apparel company. Um, this is one of the shirts that I wore today and it kept me out of the sun, which is good because my face got burned. It was really hot, but it was nice. Like I actually felt cooler wearing this than I would have with a tank top and I was protected by the bugs. But Apparel by Home Run is a super cool brand. They gave me a discount code as well. It's Bridget. I'll put it right here. And, um, I'm not going to tell you a ton about them right now because I am going to do a really big unboxing video with all the cool fishing apparel from them that I have. So I filled you guys in on a couple of videos that are coming up. Simplify. Um, I'm just going to introduce it, show you the inner workings, um, review it, show you how things work and how to set it up and what it's good for. So that'll be coming up probably alongside a fishing video. And then I will do a Home Run by Apparel unboxing. I'm going to be shooting my gun soon, so that's coming up. Ooh, I just thought of a really good one. <laughs> I'm getting an AR-15. Um, I'm getting the Springfield St. Edge. And it's going to be great. So I'm just waiting. That should be here Monday. What day is today? Sunday! 
tomorrow's Monday. <laughs> so that should be here tomorrow. Um, I think my vortex scope for it will take a little longer. And I'm also going to put a flashlight on it and use it for like at home defense slash at trailer defense. But the reason I brought that up is because there were a lot of coyotes at my one trail cam spot. So I think it'd be really fun to take a coyote call and that AR and hopefully kill some coyotes. What do you guys think? Lots of good videos coming up though. And I just want to say as always, thanks for watching. Please hit that subscribe button, like, and comment on the videos. I'll get back to everyone. Thank you guys.